course, Panthers gold. Uh, very excited. We haven't seen them on stream yet. So it's a big opportunity for a lot of players to make a big name and uh, show us what they can do. And uh, just letting everybody in chat know we are not in game yet. We are waiting. Uh, we should be starting very, very soon. I appreciate everyone letting us know, though. Uh, we actually are not in match yet. Sorry. In case you guys are a little confused. <laughs> So, uh, seeing as the meta is so divided right now, do you think it's possible we might see some sim strats coming out? I know uh, two of the Li Zhang, well, actually all three of them, are very sim strat favored. So, what's your thoughts? Yeah, obviously that sim turret's going to be big, lets you get out a little bit faster than the other team. And on Li Zhang, that point control is going to be very big. Uh, so, we're expect you know, we can expect that uh, to come out at some point here, certainly. Uh, we expect it from both teams right on the first map, but if one team doesn't do it, hopefully they'll learn quickly because you expect the team that gets the point first with that Smetra strat uh, to be able to do well with it, usually giving that team the advantage. A lot of excitement in the chat for this match. I am also very excited. I'm, I'm frankly shaking. I can't wait. What kind of uh, DPS do as you think we're going to see? Looking at time played i'm i'm thinking we're probably going to see like an ash reaper coming out of uh panther's gold though i'm not totally can confirm that and knowing sino and curb just as people like sino's a hell of a flex god but curb yeah he's a straight shooter genji fara player be interesting what do you think yeah it is very exciting especially again knowing hailstorm um these dps have found a way to be consistent for them in the past i think they'll continue to do that um uh, looking at their support line, uh, very consistent as well in past competition. We've seen occasional uh, spurts from Rad. Uh, I remember seeing him, I believe this was back in Oasis. We saw Rad pop off on Zenyatta and Junkertown was very legendary. So uh, excited to see what Rad plays here, uh, very much so. And again, going back to Panthers Gold, I'm really excited to see what they have here. Uh, this is the first match of theirs we've cast in this tournament. Um, and I'm very excited to see how they play. Thinking back to uh, some of our past matches that have already happened that I'm sure every one of our viewers has seen so far from uh, <laughs> OCS. Um, Li Zhang Tower has been played already by another 413 team and another uh, Panthers team. So if that one goes anything like this, I think Panthers are going to be licking their wounds. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Panthers having their gold and blue team both in this competition. Uh not sure, actually. I ha ha I didn't manage to see the blue game, so very excited to see uh, how gold performs here and how that compares. Obviously, we do know that I believe blue lost on Li Zhang uh, somewhat badly, so hopefully gold can come in here and uh, step it up for Panthers. And I, I don't want to spoil anything, but I believe we're about to be ready for the match. I think we're getting Six there. Six players join. Let's get started in here. Very excited. And a quick hello to everybody in chat as well. Feel free to show your support for your favorite team, whichever team you're rooting for today. Uh, any specific players as well. Uh, very excited to see what you guys have to say about the teams tonight. The anticipation is mounting. We're so close to start. And yet it feels so far. And it seems like, uh, well, uh, Panthers have a six-man roster. Hailstorm coming in here with an extra four players for subbing. So, who knows? Could be, uh, could come down if it comes down to that five map. You know, that player fatigue starts to set in. So, Hailstorm coming into this already looking pretty good. Yeah, and you know, having no, that diversity right, and that young, depth to be able yeah. to switch people out as things go, I think it's going to be very big for Hailstorm, and that's an advantage that Gold is going to have to look to be very adaptable in order to shut down. Now we get to see who we're teasing at here, and I am dying to see it. Very Our first map here. 
is the control center, so that tends to be a very Rhinzaria favorite, right? Uh, what other comps do you know you like to play here, Jump? Uh, yeah, Ryan Zarya, honestly, is one I really like to play as a main tank player. Ryan loves getting up in that server room and then pushing down to the point after, usually. Uh, it's just a really good point for Brawl. What a good call on both our parts. It actually looks like a mirror match coming out. This is going to be risky. Uh, this will probably come down to entirely who gets to that high ground first, who gets that junk spam in better. What do you think? Jump, what are your anticipations? We do have a mirror match again, not knowing gold. I really don't know what to expect here. I'm honestly uh, always confident in a 4-1-3 team, uh, especially Hailstorm. I've seen them play great in the past, but really no idea what they're going up against today, and we are about to find out. Here we go. And now as the two Reinhardts meet here in the middle, they're looking each other down. We actually have I Am Guitar on the jump pad, taking a right flank uh, in opposition to Curbson, who's just kind of standing behind his team, spamming him. But there is the first pick. First blood goes to Panther's gold. Shades finds two picks. Sino and off-white, he gets a three-piece. Hawkshaw's down. Shiny, that's Zarya for gold. Absolutely rolling Hailstorm in the first fight here. They are sent back to their point, really. Something to be mindful here is that Junkrat, that spam, whoever gets that better position to just spam from can really make a difference here. Uh, it looks like they kind of push a little too far there. Yeah, as we saw, I am, uh, <laughs> I am in guitar, if I'm saying that name right. Oh, flanked up on the right and just had a far better position than Kurt maybe there. Uh, it allowed his Reaper to pop off and take a strong front line. Now we see a tire coming out from Guitar, and that finds two, but Curbs and finds two himself. That's three coming back from the Curbmeister. Finds three picks, but it's not going to be enough. Ryan comes back and finds a pick for gold. Hawkshot finds one. Maybe they can cap as Curb finds another pick, and he absolutely won the Ryan or the uh, Junkrat duel rather there. That Curb helps his team take that point. A ridiculous play. Curb just utterly popping off, showing what one man armies can do on this side. Junkrat tends to be a ridiculous character with his one hit combo there. Two punch, instant dead. But we'll see how this breaks out now. Yeah, Junkrat able to do a lot of burst damage. And now a big shatter coming through from off white. Finds one, gets blocked though the rest of the way. Now Billionaires comes through a lot bigger, but a beat's there to follow. Both teams now spurting out their ultimates, going fast. Off white goes down. That's a Reinhardt down for Hailstorm. That's going to be hard to win. Curve does manage to find a pick with his mind, but it's not going to be enough. Frankly, the other junk rat did manage to pop off through the ultimates there. Ridiculous. It was like one after the other just utterly mirror matching. It's the beat, the shatter, and the grab go off. It seems like the uh, more of nutrition from the other where though just kind of won them that fight, that coalescence. They didn't really have it to match, so now they're coming back in it with it, though. And as the Junkrats have gone back and forth here, you see both DPS have the same ults ready here. Coalescence comes through, both tires are active. One finds the other tire and the other Junkrat. Curb is down, Sino finds Time Guitar who managed to pick off Curbs and now Shades and Shiny find two picks so far. This has been very, uh, after an initial cap from Hailstorm, although as I say that, Sino finds two picks. Hold up, this isn't over yet. There goes Rad, finds one of his own, but both Rad and Sino unfortunately do go down after the last stand, but wait a minute, Hawkshaw's there, he's pushing in. He takes a pick and they want this point. Sino's trying to pull shades of curb there, pulling a one-man army all over again. And now we see Off-White find Shiny down, manages to pin Villainaire down into the wall. And now Hailstorm's gonna be able to confidently take this point back if they can clear the one contested. Lucio dancing for free as a big shatter comes through from Off-White, does find Junkrat, and there goes Lucio now. Hailstorm can finally cap this point. However, 97% for Panther's goal. Yeah, we're entering that one fight territory. Dueling grabs, but it looks like Shiny will have his up just a little bit sooner. It's going to be about the follow up now, but that just can't happen. Billionaire there going down early. Off -white. Off -white, fire strike. Off White finds that fire strike. His shield is low, but it doesn't really matter when the enemy Ryan is dead now, having to pin back out of spawn to get back to this fight. Sino set up here on the left. Now. And with the Rhine Shield down early, a big grab and coalescence comes through. Uh, the beat comes through for gold. A lot of ultimates are coming out here. Beats for both teams. Rad now popping his beat as Shades. Finds off white. That's going to be a big pick for Panther's gold as the grab comes through. And Guitar manages to make his junk rap play happen this time now. In goes Panther's gold to cap this point. 
Uh, I think Hawkshot will have a chance to touch this now, but it's definitely nearing that stalling time. Yeah, Hawkshot is going to touch here. A big slam to the enemy Zarya. Gets her bubble gone. Allows him to get slammed. The slam comes back the other way. Die, 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 says Shade. He finds off white. Guitar manages to find a tire there. Villanaire does find the Reaper and curbs tire, unfortunately. And the last desperate effort to get this point back goes down. Finds himself dead as well. Slippery, you Lucios don't last forever, and that seems like first point going over to Panthers Gold. It's a pretty impressive first map there for Panthers Gold. Really showed up. Uh, obviously, a close fight there by Hailstorm, and really started pulling things together right there at the end. Almost clutched it out, but a Gold was able to get a little bit more of that clutch factor coming through, and they got that map. Really good stuff for Panthers Gold. And now we're seeing the mirror comp stay, except for, wait a minute, that's Hawkshaw going over to the Sigma. We have Sino possibly changing as well. Unless if these comps change, we're going to have one team teleporting, as we mentioned earlier. The other team not. That could be big for Hailstorm, although... Both teams favoring this uh, Farah, though. That could be a big difference maker, too. Hawkshaw on the Sigma, kind of falling out of the meta ever since he's shield nerfed. However, still a very powerful hero to his own right. See a last second swap off of Lucio to Mora for J-Star. Now the teams are going at it. The Mercies are dueling, but it's going to be Hailstorm teleporting straight to the point and dropping down. Curb now finds himself out. There's a Farah duel taking place. Let's see if these two Junkrats that were going out of last round can now duel out on Farah. Projectile DPS has been so important so far in this match, and now we get to see them dueling it out here in the air. Neither one going down there. There goes the teleporter. Not quite yet. Actually, that's Sino on the point. Taking all the attention away from both these Farahs, finding two picks. The curve wants some of the limelight back as he finds a pick of his own. That's going to be Hailstorm quickly capping this point after a brief skirmish. And it's just so hard. Curb winning that with that uh, Farah duel, the dog fight. But that Simstrat just gives such an advantage in a brawl matchup. Getting to that point first, that sustain given to you by that Sigma. Huge different makes it there. Not a lot of healing though, I would put so. If they can get them in a prolonged fight, the Moira should provide more than the Lucio. That was a really good point. Pointing out that Simstrat coming in, it did come in and it came in big. And now have Hellstorm up 30%. Here comes Panther's Gold trying to push into this point. It's not going to be easy. Those Simstrats are hard to kill. Oh, so man, thinking now. Very big pick by Curb. Finds J-Star. He finds another. There goes the main support and main tank for Panthers Gold. They're going to have to back out and reboot. Oh, Shiny finds Curb on the way out, though. I think a little bit of help from Guitar. They do find the far end. Now Rad actually finds himself a bit of a way out because the Guitar takes out Mir. That's another support down. Hawkshot trades into the far for that ultimate now. The wall coming through from Sino. They're going to try to hold this. Last ditch effort, the ultimate coming through. They don't have the numbers, but this is still very winnable. Big Shatter comes through, and that's going to be Villanaire cleaning up this point. A little bit of help from his Reaper right there. Dude. Oh no, it's Curve touching. He's actually touching this. Just going to stall out a little bit longer. Give his team a little bit more percentage, and that is 66 going down. It was interesting. I am Guitar, you know, kind of isolated and found a position that, hey, this is an opening. I can take this. Let's let's barrage it. Go for it. They re-engage faster. They end up winning that. That was really good play off of I am Guitar. But uh, we'll see it coming back. I think Alt Advantage kind of favoring um, Hailstorm here, as well as Swap coming up. Sino going to that free now. And a grab does come through for Panthers Gold. That shiny throwing his is. Wow, a Coalescence comes through from the back, but Curve manages to find two. That's the entire tank line down there for Panthers Gold. Now Hailstorm should be able to take this back. I was curious, honestly, about the Sigma choice. Uh, I didn't think they were going to manage to cap, but a big ult comes through. Now Sigma and McCree are both down for Hailstorm. They're going to have to clutch this out. This one's looking even as I am in Guitar finds another pick. Now the tanks are down for each team as Farah pops off. Does manage to get himself a rocket from Curve. But with that, Panthers hey, Gold actually hold on to Ridiculously fast build on that uh, barrage from I am in guitar, and he is really stepping it up on this far play, just putting the team in the backpack there. It looks like it was all for naught, and then you know three alts come out, and that ball switch kind of gets them there on time. It looks like Curb is opting out of this far duel. And Sino finds a pick as Hawkshaw launches his Sigma ult up into the air, gets the enemy team, but nothing goes down quite yet. Shiny manages to find Midnight Mare on the ball, rolling around the back line. Now Curb. Dueling out the entire enemy team on the point. He manages to find a kill right in the middle of Hawk. Comes in, gets a little bit of help from his team in the curve. Makes an impressive effort there to take the point as Hawkshot cleans up the ball. They now still have to cap this. Now 86% for Panthers Gold. That's going to go to Hailstorm. 
Now this is tough. We know Sino happens to be an incredible hit scan player when he is popping on. But if he's off, you know, like you might not even see him. Like where's Sino? So it looks like Sino's here, and I am getting guitar is feeling it right now. It's gonna be a very intense duel. The team push into each other. A hammer down comes through from off white. Doesn't really get anything. Billionaire does manage to get his shatter off after Black and the and that's an absolute NTD for that battle. Villainer makes a very impressive effort, blocks the shatter, shatters the enemy team back, and lets his team push in for a cap here. This is going to be hard for Hailstorm to touch. Now at 89% for Panthers Gold, they managed to knock Hawks off the map right at the end. Uh, the they might take the jump in, though. Off-White coming in on the stall. He's trying to get his ball to the point. He gets launched back, and he comes back again. 99, he is there. He's now dead. Here comes Curb. He's coming in. There is an ultimate ready. We have a B coming through. That's going to be huge. If Hawkshaw can get here, he has his ultimate. Sigma ultimate is ready for this fight. His Panthers gold are brawling it out with Hailstorm oh. on the point. Curb's huge. Ultimate comes through. And that is a massively clutch play by Hailstorm. Here comes the other team's Reaper. Die, die, die. But it's not enough. Hawkshaw gets a very drastically important lift after Curb. Uh, finds a few picks with the ultimates. What a clutch play there by Hailstorm. Stall's coming out here from Panthers gold, but it's not going to make it. Wow! That's ridiculously close though, 99 to 99, and it's just a one or two plays ahead. That beat, Score. sustaining that, uh, the one. blossom to shred, and then the, the picking up and dropping them from Sigma Ready. cleans with, up. This is Hawkshaw. a totally different map though. With Hawkshaw going off the map late in that fight, I didn't think Hailstorm had a chance to contest. They also found themselves down one, but Curb finds a few picks and evens it out for his team. So what are we seeing from this this map here? Are we thinking we're going back to a brawl? Or we this looks a little more meta now all of a sudden, you know, the Reaper Sombra. A very dive oriented in map though, Five, even though it looks four, like we're favoring that three, hog. Two, what are we thinking here, Jump? One, yeah, we do brown, seem to be favoring a somewhat brawly comp. Uh, Panther's Gold is not running the Zarya, however. This is going to be Hailstorm running around Zarya. Uh, running the Symmetra Reaper with that is also pretty big. That's a steady brawl comp. Uh, Panther's Gold may be running something a bit more off meta, but doesn't quite matter when you get hooks like that. Hawkshaw finds himself in the middle of the enemy team. And it's going to be Rad actually taking the blow. Goes down to I am in guitar. He's absolutely amazing. They pulling with Curve all day long. Curve didn't manage to get the event that last fight, but now two picks come through for Panther's Gold. Shades finds off white. Shiny finds Curve. It's going to be a very hard fight to win for Hailstorm as we see Moira just jumps right off the map and that's a big roll, although Rad stalling out the point right now. Big play, Rad manages to save his team a couple seconds there, but very big, impressive cap for Panthers goal with getting the momentum going on this map. It's going to be on Sino a lot to try and handle this far in the sky, otherwise uh, they're going to have to make some swaps pretty soon. And we see I am in Guitar actually get tacked here, but he does manage to find Sino. While being hacked, he stays on the ground and says, I don't care, I'll do you here. A few rockets and Sombra's gone. Now we see I am in Guitar launching in here to the enemy tank line. Hellstar and taking some spam here, unfortunately for them. They might be able to get a bit of Zarya charged off, but however, both Reinhardts have their shatter here. That's going to be big. We see Sino switch to that McCree now, so now they have an answer for it. And oh! it's a quick answer at that. Mercy's in danger. I am a guitar finds one pick, but Sino's hooked off the map after going to Farah. And I am a guitar comes back, but a huge shatter from off white. He heard me say MTD and he didn't want to hear any more of that. Finds a big shatter, allows his support to follow, but wait a minute, he's hooked off the map. Shiny has two this fight alone. He does go down, but this map is still being stalled. I am a guitar stalls this point out for a while. Now it goes to Hailstorm, but not before two of pretty impressive hooks uh, from Shiny. Yeah, way to pick apart the enemy's uh, positioning mistakes. That that hook right off the map can't really mess that up. So <laughs> it's on the other team there to watch where they stand. Big mistake from Hailstorm. Now we see Gold going to the left here. They want to push in. Rad's dancing around the point as he does. But I'm in guitar. Hold up, he has a flank here. He's firing rockets into the side. Sino tries to back out. He wants to take the blue. He wants to get that far out of the skies. But oh, that's just coming through into his back now. We have a grab coming through for Hailstorm. A big pin comes through. Off White finds one. Rad finds one. And Off White finds two more with a shatter. Funny enough, I believe we saw Billionaire kill two with a fire strike. We just saw Off White do the same thing. Both of these Ryan's playing great today. Nah, and that was really good decision making from Sino. He's looking for that duel, contesting that far, making sure she can't play where she wants to. But when it comes down to that grab, he runs in there and stuns up that whole enemy team. Just obliterates any chance to stop Curb's Blossom and it's over before it started.
and Hailstorm is just about to flip the percentage advantage. They probably can do it before the end of this fight as we see Iman Guitar takes up position, getting locked out by Simon just a little bit. He takes some health, and now he goes in with Justice. It does rain. B comes in a little late, but it does manage to save the team. Sino finds Safara, and he manages to find two more. One with his ult, and one. He gets some mercy with a nice headshot there, but Shiny headshots him right back. Hailstorm looking to hold this point with Coalescence. They do find two more, and that's going to do it with two big picks coming through from the Hailstorm support line right there at the end of the fight. Talk about Sino coming in big with that chunky Kree that they are now. That 225 health there, that recent buff. And he is putting it to good use, working on that edge of life. Takes out the Reaper in his ult, takes out the Far in her ult, takes out the ulting Mercy. Like, what do you have left if you're coming into this as uh, Panthers? Not very much now. We do have the grab ready for Hailstorm. That's going to be big with the Coalescence coming out from Panthers. They know they need this to be big, so they push in hard. Olivia goes down in the back line. That's going to be... Reinhardt off white finds a pick. Villainer does find one through the crowd, but it's not going to be enough. That's going to be Hailstorm rolling this point through a few picks. And Li Zhang is going to go to Hailstorm. What a back and forth match. And I'll be honest, last map, if you would have told me Hailstorm would won, I might have been surprised before they won the map, of course. Yeah, that was very close, but that last one came in a little more dominant. Sino really showing up in that map. and. Like I said, a streaky kind of player. If he's on, man, you can't make a mistake. But if he's off, it's, uh, where's Sino? It's, uh... You're seeing it in the replay now, what I saw there. Sino just uncontested, ripping him to shreds. Very close game, though. So, Jumpenny, now that we've gotten a look at this, where do we think we're going to land here? Is it going to be a 3-1, a 5 you know, game? Like, where are we going? That was really back and forth. We did see, you know, once Sino had a map where he was – he very smart the way he played out the Farah. He, he didn't get over aggressive and die. He just shut down the Farah's angles. That's all you got to do. Just bug her a little bit. Get her off her good angles so she can't spam in the middle of your team. And Sino did a great job there. And did also find the pick a lot of the times in this fight. So I think what we saw was very back and forth. And I think maybe the reason for Hailsword's domination there, a lot relied on a big play from the McCree there shutting down the forest. So I think we could see a pretty back and forth match here. Uh, I'm not sure where this one's going to go, honestly. And also, really quickly, just want to announce uh, at 100 followers, 413 Esports is going to be doing a giveaway. 20 blizzard balance uh battle net balance whatever it is so you guys uh follow and uh, have a chance of winning 20 dollars. you can use that on hearthstone whatever game you want overwatch um whatever you play uh thank you guys for coming out and checking out these matches we have a very exciting next round coming up for you guys looks like we're going to king's row so that should be uh exactly what we're looking for out of this these kinds of teams, a very brawly map for two very brawly teams. It'll be interesting to see if I am in guitar sticks with this far pick. His junk rat seems very, very good, and his far kinda ate it from Sinos McCree. So we'll see where this goes. Do we have any anticipations? King's Row, another one of those maps where it's very Ryan Zarya centric. What do you think we're gonna see here, Jump? Yeah, we're definitely gonna see the brawl. Uh I wouldn't be surprised to see Widow come out from the attacking team, maybe not from the defending, but you know, last map we saw was a big story of projectile DPS until Sino was really shutting down that far play. Um, you know, I, I made a slightly early judgment on Off-White. He got sort of dominated in one team fight, but that happens. He picked his head up and he came right back at it. Uh, hit some big shatters and uh, did some had some very good plays and it really impressed me uh, as a new tank for 4-3 uh, Hailstorm. Uh, Going to be exciting to see what he can do. You know, if I could say anything about his play, we saw a lot of him... He'd push a corner and very aggressively shatter, expecting to catch the enemy tank off guard, but didn't seem like he was working, and maybe you want to give up on that as time goes on. Let the brawl break out a little bit. Uh, when he's going to be losing shield, and he's going to be more inclined to drop it. He's not just going to straight block it, but I do respect trying to catch him off guard. Everyone has different strategies for getting that big shatter through. Good play all around, though. A couple swaps coming in already. We see that Hailstorm... Uh, lineup rotation there. Uh, Spencini in for Hawkshaw. Hawkshaw actually made some pretty 
some pretty standardized plays there. Like He seemed like he was doing good, so we'll see if Spencini's got some secret strategy for Kings Row we've never seen before. Also, Shizzy coming in over the curb zone. Curb, this kind of makes sense. Curb's known as a more projectile-y, Junkrat, Genji, Farah player. Shizzy coming in kind of hints to us that they're looking for some high damage output. And let me tell you guys, if you want to see high damage output, Shizzy will do it. So we're looking at some Torbs, some some maybe some may coming out this could get ugly quickly we could see some old uh, beginning of overwatch league meta here that Cree may coming out from the brawl teams thanatos also subbing in for rad so it's uh it's a three men two to the lineup what are you thinking here jump what are you expecting to see you know uh, after winning the map obviously you don't expect the swaps to come out especially considering you saw hailstorm run the brawl there but maybe they saw something they did or didn't like we did see hawkshaw switch over to sigma which you know, isn't usually what we see on that map. So maybe uh, maybe he's still working on his Zarya. Uh, maybe they feel as though Spencini can play a stronger Zarya on King's Row, I should say. Um, however, they did win that map very gracefully, um, although it was close. So, you know, Hailstorm making a very heads-up play here. Usually you win a map. You don't need to make switches, but they are going to do that uh, because they know what map's coming up, and they have some depth. Uh, Shizzy, as you mentioned, uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see May here. You know, obviously huge on King's Row. Might see a lot of very scary walls that Panthers Gold is going to have to do something about. And and while I'm talking about Panthers Gold, we saw a lot of really good play from them. Uh, specifically, I am in Guitar. We mentioned a lot. Stepped up very big in a lot of team fights, especially in the earlier rounds. Uh, billion, I believe it's pronounced billionaire, billionaire <laughs> on uh, Panthers Gold. The main tank played great. Had a lot of very dominant fights. So certainly a lot of exciting matches here to come. Definitely, definitely. And now without Curb in there, you know, kind of kept the uh, control center together. Curb was kind of like that glue that just uh, out of nowhere won the fight. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, that, that carry potential's out. Let's see what carry potential Shizzy can bring in here. At the same time, it looks like, you know, um, the main support was just, you know, a little bit ahead of Midnight uh, Mirror for uh, a couple of those maps, you know, getting that coal up faster, little things like that. Shiny seems to be favoring the Roadhog too, so it'll be interesting, you know, what are we going to play here? Uh, what is the depth of our hero pools? And let's get into it as we're starting up. Let's go. Now King's Row, again, a uh, very brawl-centric map, so that's what we expect to see here. Uh, but nothing is guaranteed. Initiating match. We do have a few seconds before we're going to find out. Unfortunately, the anticipation is going to kill me. So if you're joining in right now, score is 1-0 for Hailstorm over Panthers Gold. Got 10 seconds before we open up in our lineups. Let's get ready to rumble this. And this is first to three. Anyone's game right now. Let's see how Kings Row go. The first team here... Uh... Ready. To make an aggressive push, we do have Hailstorm on attack, so they can cap this first point quickly. Momentum is in their favor, so Panthers go if they can make a strong hold here. Currently, they're running a Reaper Soldier, which is something we don't always see in King's Row. Obviously, Soldier is a lot stronger right now than he's been in the past, so... Yeah, that new no buff on his damage there should make him very interesting, and it looks like they're favoring the Ana over the Moira as well, another big difference maker that nano boost can come out pretty heavy but the moira's instant co and overall healing if the fight goes long i think panthers have the edge but if the fight's short that moira is just going to output more shizzy's uh signature torb there will be interesting to see his three thousand damage output in the first two seconds but let's get this started all right we have hailstorm coming straight out of the gate the spam's gonna hit a big fire strike actually comes through for billionaire there uh, seems to hit a few on the enemy team, although also seeming to catch the bubble from Spencini. The new off tank game is off white. Absolutely dominates, finds the other main tank, and now it's a Rhineless school for Hailstorm. They're just going to hold this point for as long as they can. Panthers both going to wait. They might not even be able to touch here. Their main tank goes down right off the bat, and unfortunately, they just have to back up and get point up like that. As I said, that's a huge momentum swing for Hailstorm. Yeah, that instant damage, Shizzy's output is just something most people aren't going to be ready for when he rounds that corner. It's going to be interesting to see how they play this. That Coalescence is up, first ultimate of the game. I'd like to see Hellstorm take a aggressive fight here. What are you thinking? Yeah, Mir doing a great job of getting that Coalescence online so early, earlier than the enemy team, obviously not running a Moira. But as you said that, this was an exciting fight for Hellstorm, and now Thanatos finds himself down to a fire strike in the background. We're gonna have to back up. Off-White finds himself down to a fire strike, and Ryan is just sniping right now. 
I don't even think that was a real engage. They just sort of sniped the enemy team down with Soldier and Fire Strike. And it's a big fight win for Panther's Gold. You'll take those. Now we're winning the grab war. They have that nano visor coming up. This could be very dangerous. What do you think you'd like to see here? Panther's Gold, ideal situation. What are they going to play right now? You know, ideally, nano visor, you probably hold on to the grab and the pull of that. coming through here now. A big hammer down comes through, catches Villainair. Off white finds three. I'll tell you what, that certainly wasn't ideal. <laughs> Before That's I got six, man. Oh my god. Off white must be raging in the comms right now. God knows I would be. That kind of oh, shatter of lays them all out for the coalescent. Just laser right down. And you know, that probably wasn't what was ideal for Panther's gold before I even had time to say it. Uh, here, they have a lot of ultimates, but you would have liked to maybe use some and hold on to that fight, given that Coalescence was the only ultimate other than Shatter, so two ultimates committed there by Hailstorm. Now, though, Panther's gold has every ultimate offline, and Grab comes through first, and we call it up by a beat. Deeds may be a little bit questionable there, uh, as now a die die I guess, comes through late oh, on a beat. No. Yeah, that beat maybe comes a little bit early for Panther's Gold as now Hailstorm is able to pretty confidently cap here. Yikes, a lot of ultimates came out there for Panther's Gold. That's very unfortunate. He needs to have any ultimates and lose the fight. Now Shizzy, he's online. And uh, Shatter is about the only thing they have to do to stop it. Wow, that was very unfortunate that the Nanovisor wasn't able to rip through as many people as the Blossom. You kind of would have expected it to, but yeah, I think you're right. That beat usage just kind of made the difference. Um, it'll be interesting to see if the Shatter makes it or breaks it here. Uh, Off-White's building pretty quickly to his own as well, so we could see another massive 6k. It'd be really pretty. And I'd like to see Off-White block the Shatter here. It'd be big for him. We've seen him get hit by a lot of big ones here. He has blocked him, oh, and there goes what a another one. Pin. As a big counter pin comes through, the Rhymes get stunned, and teams are now trading back and forth. Reaper roll comes through, but it's not enough. Coalescence is going to melt him down as Off-White, and Spensini pops off, finding the last three kills. Now all three of Hailstorm are on the card, and they're pushing it in. Uh, they were down early here. They're still down two DPS, but they can win this now as two people from Panthers Gold come in. That's Lucio getting the first touch. He is low, but he hasn't died yet. He now goes down off-white, hiding in the corner and finding a massive shatter. That's going to be big as Spensini again, popping off in the kill feed. He's cleaning up that shadow. We see Ayan in the card does manage to find the pick. The grab on the point. It's going to spell the end there for Panthers Gold. Uh, that's a pretty big and quick cap. Blistering feet. I have Ooh. never seen someone cap it that fast. I was not sure. That missing. was that was fast. There was maybe three fights in that whole whole thing, and each time, you know, it's Hailstorm engaging directly, decisively, ripping through them really quickly. That was a spectacular brawl map to watch, and I am very excited by Hailstorm right now. Panthers Gold need to really, you know, go back to that drawing board and think up something new because they just got smashed i am wow that was a lot uh midnightmare though a huge difference maker had like two coalescences and all that most people only had an ultimate yeah getting that first coalescence is you know after the first cap they were able to just steamroll through with that second coal and they ended up winning an entire team fight with just coalescence that's absolutely massive for hailstorm you know the big thing we saw there and this is what a lot of overwatch boils down to uh, a lot of maybe ultimate mistakes, uh, maybe compositional errors as well. You know, Soldier wasn't able to pop off as much, uh, and and that could just be a little unfortunate. But uh, I think the Reaper ultimate in this comp, uh, you know, Reaper benefits from that brawl and he's able to get his ultimate. I think you know he can get bubbled, and I, I think he sort of benefits a little bit more from that. Although both teams switching off the Reaper here, and uh, now for the Torb and Hanzo for Hailstorm. Curious to see. Oh wow, a Symmetra Bastion strat. Panthers gold, they got rolled, and now they're doing it to him. Hailstorm, are they ready for this? This is bringing it dirty, though. And here it goes. The Torb turret, though, is going to catch the sentry, or the, the teleporter, rather. Bastion is now set up off by backing up his barriers down. That's really bad for Hailstorm, having no barrier. However, the other run doesn't have one either, and now, very good positioning from Hailstorm. They back up around the hotel, and they manage to hold. Uh, you find a pick, and now... One tick, though, does come through here. I say it's really unfortunate for Hailstorm. You get the tick, but you still have to give up a tick. would like to not have to do that, but Big Rock comes through. Now Hailstorm cleaning up this fight here. Even though they give up a tick, still big. You hold the time, and that's your goal on defense. Don't get too aggressive. Just hold the point. Unlucky. That was a really interesting strategy coming out. Shades seems like he's sticking with the, the pick. That's an interesting one. Bastion offense, you usually don't see it 
go twice, you usually see it the first time only. But uh, it'll be interesting to see how they play it. Big sleep hits early, off white goes down, does get woken up and bubbled as his fire strike catches Lucio on the back. Gotta say, all day long, these supports have been finding themselves sniped by a backline fire strike. Maybe they gotta be a little bit more careful here as uh, Shades does find a pick on his turf. He gets Nano to Spencini, he takes out the Ana the Nano to him. A bunch of ults are coming through here now as the Sigma gets to lift up a couple and find one dead as Off White wins the main tank battle yet again and shuts down to an air. Now there's a grab coming through and Ryan tries to charge into it. Shades uh, doesn't put it on the back tank. That Bastion pick here is actually proving to work out a little bit. But they keep committing to this lost fight, and it'll be interesting to see if they can they can actually do something with this opening they have now. You know, a little slightly interesting decision from off white to pin in there, but maybe a shield down and have any other option. A beat comes through from JSR is pretty big. Shizzy and his turret go down immediately as Hailstorm just backs off. They see the ult coming through, they want to let it be over, and now a dragon comes through for Hailstorm one to the point. That's gonna be big, it finds one as the shatter comes through from off white. And now we see the bastion going down, that's massive. Stun does get hit. Off-White goes down, but it doesn't matter. Sino finds a few pigs. He's going to clean things up here. This is a big hold for Hailstorm. Way to put him on the backpack there. I thought that was all but Panthers there, but Sino just never misses, apparently. Insane play. He don't miss. So what do we need from Panthers right now? What do you, What's their win condition that you see? Well, we've already seen them swap comps, but we can imagine the Soldier. But now they have Soldier Reaper, which I'm a bit more confident in. Uh, here, you gotta go in quick. They're wasting too much time. All six of them are there. Go in. Your shield's low, which is a problem if you're Reinhardt. And right now, you need to get in and make them use their ultimates, but you have a chance at a last fight here. Right now, things aren't looking good for you. They're gonna have Grab Dragon next fight, and right now, they have a Coalescence to shut you down every time. But again, Ryan is going in with a very low shield here, and they have to back up. Obviously, that is gonna be due to Coalescence, but Jaystar doesn't get back. He is going to find himself dead. Spencini's been popping off in the kill feed right there, just taking advantage of a small position of a stake. Now Thanatos is going to start popping off, finds two picks along with Spencini. It's going to be a big hold for Hailstorm. I would have liked to see Panther's Gold going a little bit quicker there and try to get the ult advantage now. This might be last fight, and they certainly do not have the ult advantage for it. In my mind right now, the only way that they win this is if they grab first, Nano their Ryan, and just kind of hope for the best out of this. Yeah, and even then they're gonna have to be careful because if they peek out too much, their grab dragon's gonna catch them all. But you're right, they could do that and stay split and avoid that grab dragon. But they do get grabbed now. There's 20 seconds left. They That's nano. Interesting decision to nano and grab. This is worst case scenario for sure because you know, if anything, I guess you weren't gonna be able to touch again, no matter what happened here, probably. So you would have liked to just use those ultimates early. J Star never even got to use his beat. You would have liked to just pop those ultimates maybe almost instantaneously. And they almost did get a touch through there, so maybe if you were weren't gonna use them at the start, you don't use them at all. But a very good map there for Hailstorm. Yeah. Very convincing that we could be heading towards a 3-0 after what was a pretty competitive first match, so Panthers Gold's gonna have to do something different here and pull something out of their ass. Uh, if I'm Panthers Gold right now, I'm going back to the drawing board because what I need is a realignment on what I'm thinking about here. I think it's time to go back to that that Moira, and I think it's time to uh, maybe pull out that Junkrat again because they're uh, they're missing some damage right now in this Brawl Duel, and it is coming through really big. Epic Shatters by Off-White there. That's one for the replay clip. Making a frag video, put that one in it because that was insane. And Good know, timing. Being down 2-0... Not good if you're Panthers Gold, obviously. You don't want to be there. Hailstorm does have the momentum, but you know, a big thing here for Panthers Gold, you have to go back to the drawing board. Simply, you have to start using your ultimates more efficiently. And obviously, I'm sure they were trying, but I think a lot of what we just saw there on King's Row was simply Hailstorm just having better ult economy, absolutely stomping and snowballing through the first map, and then doing the same thing on defense. Panthers Gold really has to watch their ultimates here, and if they can do that, they have a chance at coming back for a reverse sweep, maybe. Yeah, off white after a, a kind of rocky start. First map we were kind of questioning. Okay, like let's see it off white. But this uh, this map was definitely a very different story, and I am very interested to see what happens. Very true. I think if I'm Panthers, you know, I either change up my brawl, go more straight brawl, or uh, I change up completely. Uh, we're going to a two CP map. Two CP maps are renowned for their bunker holds, so. Maybe that's what we take a, a look to. I, I see I am Guitar and Shades kind of already looking at that Sim Bastion strat that we saw in King's Row. So, you know, anything could happen. Um, kind of heartbreaking, honestly. The story of 
of Sino just having dragons every fight and Shizzy just <laughs> outputting so much damage that Billionaire never had a chance with his shield in all honesty. Uh, very, very tough. Um, see if any more swaps coming in here. It looks like uh, we're on a Hanamura with a 2 minutes and 30 second mid fight. So, or uh, sorry, mid game pause. So uh, I will leave you guys with some epic music. Ciao. All righty here, and we're starting up Hanamura. Let's get excited here. It is 2-0 for Hailstorm right now, but this is the time. If there was ever a map to turn it around, it would be Hanamura. The momentum can switch so very quickly and would like to see a little bit more Brawl coming out here. Swaps coming in. Uh, Hawkshaw, subbing out Spensini. It'll be interesting to see. Maybe they're favoring Sigma play now. Maybe uh, we're looking at something cheesy. It'll be interesting to see all of that. Shizzy staying in, though. Rad coming in for Thanatos. Uh, Rad played a very good game first map. Thanatos played a very good game second map. We really haven't seen the difference yet, but uh, it'll be interesting to see. I know Rad likes to fill more of a shock collar kind of role often enough, so maybe that's that's what we're looking for here. Not that I think there was a problem last time. Uh, meta comps. I think right now it looks like Hailstorm just has a better grasp of it, honestly. like I know meta tends to be kind of whacked right now, but uh, what do you think? <laughs> Yeah, very much so. Hailstorm has what is definitely considered more of a meta comp, especially on Hanamura. Uh, May is just really good at that first choke. She's also good on the point. She's good all around. May is just really good on this map. Uh, even here on attack, uh, they don't go with the teleporter. They are going to go with Reaper, which I actually think is a little bit better. That teleporter doesn't always work out as well when the enemy team's ready for it. Uh, but <laughs> the announcer is slightly off with her announcement, but we are getting ready to start here. Uh, yeah, I think it is Hailstorm running more meta combo. Oh, see this Junkrat, you know, this is what we were talking about last time. Junkrat can make a huge difference in Zen. Something you don't see too often, but his Discord's back to 30%, so it's doable, right? Yeah, and him finding an early Junkrat trap there is actually going to be massive for him. As I am in guitar, does now go down. Sino finds him. It's going to be J-Star going down as well, and Sino just really cleans up your off light. Finds a pick as well. Hawkshaw gets a little punch in there as well. This is not good for Panthers Gold. This is really worst case scenario for them getting rolled this early, this fast. Uh, that's just kind of super unlucky. Maybe a little bit of poor decision making, a shot caller there, uh, but uh, that was a really good play. Sino on that flank, and then the rest of them just bottled into that room and punched out onto uh, the whole of FYU Panthers. Really good play coming out of Hailstorm right now. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where they play this through, though. Looks like they're going main. And now Into Midnight Mirror again, after first fight, just having that goal like always. Now the tire comes through, but good positioning coming out from Hailstorm. Doesn't find anybody, although a pretty nice flank from I am, I am in Guitar. Rad finds Olivia. That's going to be Rad on Lucio finding a Zen in the background, and now Hailstorm goes in, and yet again, stops this point. Shizzy on May and Sino just rolling, cleaning up the end of the team here. It's pretty bad for Panthers. They are down right now. They are not going to be able to get the touch, and with 5 minutes and 31 seconds left on the clock, and there's gold's got to pull out something big here. That was again rather blistering. If I was gonna say a time bank, um, I don't know. That tire kind of awkward puts Midnight Mirror at like one HP. Doesn't finish her off. That's uh, not a really good way to start a fight. Again, um, kind of seems like Panthers taking the engage right now, and it's not going their way. I think if the Panthers were gonna bring this back around, they would have to start taking engages like pushing into them rather than just letting them be pushed. And just want to really quickly say here, uh, we are doing a giveaway for anyone that doesn't know already. Once we had 100 followers on the 413 Esports channel, we're going to be doing $20 of Blizzard Balance. You can use that for Overwatch League tokens, Overwatch, Hearthstone, whatever you want. It's on the, the Battle.net thing there. So uh, very exciting. Please follow and have a chance at winning that. We're currently over halfway there. As we go in here onto Hanamura. Alrighty, and here's what we were talking about. That's Sigma from Hawkshot coming out uh, on defense. That's uh, going to give him a little bit of extra shields, deny a little bit of ult charge, but I don't think they anticipate this Reaper Hog Sim Brig. Brig is back, everybody. Brig is back. Who'd have thought we'd have seen the day? That's a Yikers and a half. <laughs> and I will say, slightly unique from uh, the comp here from. Uh, from Hailstorm, obviously Hawkshaw and Sigma, you don't always expect that when you have a Hanzo, not that it matters too much, Hawkshaw is a very good Sigma, uh, so 
you know, expect to see him do some good things here, spamming up in the top right as Panthers Gold trying to find their way through the point. They need to take an aggressive push, and they do that. They take a teleporter up top, and now they're going to flank in. Still just kind of waiting around here. They don't really seem to have a decisive plan as to where they want to go as they find a few members of Hailstorm off the left. One goes down now, Olivia. Actually goes down to a fire strike there. These Ryans and their fire strike kills all day today, especially off white as he finds another one there, and Hailstorm defends this point really well. Uh, it was kind of awkward. It seems like they got that teleporter in. It was nice and fast, and then they kind of stood up there. Not really knowing what to do. Maybe the shield was broken from Billionaire. That could have been the difference maker there, and then they just Very couldn't true. engage because the shield was broken. But that sucks. Hawkshaw, of course, being that steady kind of damage in a prolonged fight, he will put out a lot of shield break. Shit, too. Swap's coming up immediately. Then yeah, McCree's in. As you see here again, it's going to be hard for Ryan to keep his shield up. I don't think they need to consider swaps. I mean, you might here. But I, I think if you're the Rhyme player, the shield management has to be a little bit better, and maybe you consider switching off the Zarya, if anything. Uh, you know, you need that Rhyme presence, I think, to get to this point, so if anything, maybe you try to eat up some of that spam, but I think you can manage the shield a little bit better than what we're seeing so far in these matches uh, from Billionaire. Uh, but, you know, to each their own, uh, off-white now with a low shield as Billionaire does try to push up here. Uh, they're going to be swinging around in the corners here as Hawkshaw finds Olivia again. Just people getting picked off at the start of fights before the initiation really gets to happen. Very unfortunate for Panthers Gold. Ridiculous amounts of spam right now. Sino on that Hanzo, the, the Torb, the even Rad just probably throwing out huge numbers on that Zen between all that damage, all that spam. They're just not really engaging fast enough. That Lucio swap, I think, is exactly what we're looking to need here. And I, in all honesty, I'd like to see them switch off completely. A dive here would be much more ideal. Yeah, and I think for sure you got to get in here quick and just press your ultimates. If well, if you're Hailstorm, you have all six ultimates. If you're uh, your Panthers Gold, you're trying to get their ultimates out of the way and get your own so you can push this point. You don't have a whole lot right now. Window doesn't do anything, and Shiny goes down through it anyways. More time being salty for Hailstorm. They haven't had to use a single ultimate, but right as I say that, two come through and it's going to be a big shatter for off white Panthers gold. They do manage to get two ultimates out of the way, but Hailstorm sitting on four ultimates with only a minute and 20 left. It's going to be very hard for Panthers gold. They're going to have to try to clutch this out here. Nah, if I was honestly, I don't exactly like that window usage there. Maybe saving it for a grab, at least then you can fire strike and cut down, you know, any squishies that are in there. But uh, to each their own, it looks like they're coming up on shatter, grab, they're halfway to that a very slow building blossom, so we'll see how this plays out. Um, back on this honest Lucio. And they speed through here, try to get to the point quickly. They do find a pick, down goes Shizzy, but a dragon comes through. So does a pick from Rad, a nice headshot onto the enemy Lucio, not always easy to do. And while that was a good initial pick from Panthers Gold, they do go down here. Maybe uh, you're a little bit happy that you're only facing two ultimates next fight. Uh, you might be able to pull out ultimate advantage if you collect it well. This comp for Hailstorm, this is an artillery comp. Uh, very confusing to have the Rhine in there for the enemy team, but he's working well playing the corner as he does. And the fire strikes are coming through. A lot of spam, really hard for Panthers Gold to dodge this bullet hell of a game they're playing right now. Yes, I would say this is much more towards what the meta is shaping to right now, this kind of Sigma spam comp, but uh, it's going to be tough to break through it. Nano comes yeah. out. Nano does come out and again speeding through that same building they found the pick on last time. Unfortunately, now with the Nano and a lot of ultimates, this is going to be a big fight for Hail, so a lot of kills coming through. Shizzy finds two, Sino finds two, Shizzy finds another one there. Unfortunately, that's going to be game. Hailstorm takes it 3-0 from Panthers Gold. That was tough. I would say Shizzy's da raw damage output kind of caught them off guard there. Very good games played by both. You know, we looked very competitive in the first map, kind of fall off. You see uh, Hailstorm really picking it up. I think uh, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with uh, if they keep playing like this. We see there a nice play of the game right at the end from Shizzy to clutch that out for his team. Uh, yeah, big stuff there from Hailstorm. That's a team to look out for going forward. <laughs> for sure, for sure. And now both Panthers kind of licking their wounds to 4 one, three teams. Tough, tough, tough. Yeah, you know, the, uh, a lot of talking the, in the interim. Back to the drawing board, they take these losses and hopefully go to the go to the VOD review room and try to work things back a little bit. Obviously, uh, you know, the one advantage of taking a big loss like that is you do get to, 
get to come back. Maybe you learn something from the VODs. And just really quickly, want to say one last time that we are doing a giveaway at 100 followers here. The 413 Esports Twitch channel at 100 followers. We're doing a Battle.net giveaway around $20, I believe. Battle.net currency. GG's to both teams, though. Very good game today. Yeah, well played, both sides. Some big plays coming out from either team, but uh, it looks like Hail Hailstorm just had the, the bigger X factor today. Uh, Sino really pulling off. If I had to give a player of the match, I think that would be my vote. What about you, Jump? Yeah, I'd probably have to agree. Big pop-offs from Sino, and you know we saw a lot of entry picks there. Uh, big plays, especially with that spam comp there at the end. You know, it sort of seemed like Hailstorm after that first map figured out their uh, their opposing team and were able to sort of switch and use their depth uh, to be able to sort of outplay maybe the enemy team there. But yeah, very good play from Hailstorm and from Panthers Gold. Credit to them, especially on that first map. Uh, you know, definitely a lot to learn from here, but played pretty good. Yeah, good plays. GG's everyone, and thank you for coming out.